Welcome to 70,000tons.tv. This episode features Survivors Ask with Arch Enemy in Munich, a preview of our 2018 destination Cockburn Town, and a funny clip with Kimmy G. Hi guys! Here is Guni, survivor of the 70,000 tons of metal from 2013 to 17. So five timer. And here I'm in Munich today on the famous Stachus. Behind me you can see the car store. Tonight I'm going to the backstage just to meet Arch Enemy for 70,000 tons.tv. <laughs> We've had a little bit of time, so we may a stop at another famous place here in Munich, here at the Theresian Wiese with the famous Bavaria. There's the place where the big Oktoberfest, the world's biggest beer fest, is taking place. Now here I'm in the backstage and sitting here with Michael and Alyssa from Arch Enemy. It's a great honor for me. And I have some questions for you. First one goes to you both. In 2017, you had been on 70,000 tons of metal, and you have been that without releasing a new, new album. Will it be September, and what do we have to expect uh, beneath pure fucking metal, of course? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been very busy working on the, on the new album. Actually, the 70,000 ton metal crews, kind of in between working in the studio. No, at least I spent a few weeks now in Sweden, and uh, personally, anyway, I always feel like, oh, I'm, we're trying so many new different things, and then when it all comes together, and we're all playing it, and Elise is singing it, it just sounds like Arch Enemy, you know. But new songs, of course, hopefully good ones. Uh, forum user Bob from Salt Lake City, Utah, USA, asked, with the release of a new album in September, perhaps? And a strong three years young running with a new lead vocal Alyssa. Would you consider performing live some more of the older catalogue from when Angela was singing? Unfortunately or fortunately, when the new album comes out, we're going to have to clear out some songs to make space for the new songs. Because with every album that comes out, there's certain songs that just have to be in the set list. Like, we can't play a show without War Eternal. We can't play a show without, <laughs> you know, a Nemesis. You know, like, there's so... Every album that comes out, there's... You always want to play the whole new album, but you also realize that you have to play some of the old stuff. So it's always a little bit of a struggle. But we try to make the set list, you know, fun for us and fun for everyone watching. That's great. And the next question is from Anjoen from Ghent. Wants to know uh, whether Jeff is also included to the songwriting. No, but he's playing. He's gonna. He's already played on the album. He's played solos. Okay. Questions to the relationship in the band. You've now toured for about three years with the Boy Tunnel album. Uh, spent lots of time together. So, how's the mood in the band between each of you? Do you need a break from each other or do you say we're now <laughs> well, a I mean, we family? hate each other. We absolutely hate each other. No, I'm just we, took, we took a break and we still we came back and we still hated each other. So yeah. we thought, well, we might as well just continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's like, you know, probably one of the most important things and, and one piece of advice that I give to younger bands who ask for advice, because <laughs> I'm quite old, um, <laughs> is that, you know, playing great music and being a great musician and being a great performer is a, is a large part of it, but being with the right people is a huge part of it because you have to be a family. And I mean that in every sense of the word. You have to be a family in the sense that there has to be love and respect and compassion towards one another, but you also have to be able to handle one another when somebody's not feeling well or when someone's pissed off or when someone is, you know, going through something unrelated. You know, it's just you have to have that kind of a, a personality and not everybody has that actually. So um, I, I think we're all pretty mature in this band, you know, and we've all seen our fair share of like shit and life experiences that we know how to maintain composure in a band setting and just be part of a team and, and 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 that's not even just the band our crew also is like that so we're pretty lucky last question for me you played the 70,000 tons twice in 2015 and 17 yeah i've saw all four sets cool. <laughs> Guys, thank you what do you think of this special kind of cruise and do you have any funny stories to tell yeah i really enjoyed that both those shows are very uh, stuck in my mind it's very fun moments 
because it's something different, you know. You're heading back from Jamaica, or Haiti, <laughs> in the in the middle of the night, and and uh, you're playing under the sky, the starlit yeah. sky, and the waves around you, and you're just playing Nemesis and War Eternal and stuff like that. It's um, pretty bizarre and fun. Yeah. So I hope to see you on the boat again in. Two yeah, years, if they want us back, we, we'll be. Uh, I'm sure we'll be there if, if we invite invited. Fans, we want you back. Okay. Well, great. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank you. Seventy thousand tons of metal. The world's biggest heavy metal cruise. February, you. Together with 60 metal bands and 3,000 of the craziest heavy metal fans from around the world. Taking over one massive cruise ship. It's like everyone has a backstage pass. Sailing from Florida to Turks and Caicos. February 1st to 5th, 2018. 70,000 tons of metal. Our 2018 destination is the beautiful Cockburn Town on Grand Turk. Our stop will be action packed. Spend the day partying on the beach, swimming and soaking up the sun on Grand Turk's white sand beaches, where the beach umbrellas and chairs are free. Sample fresh conch and the local Turk's Head Lager at the beach sidebar. There are some fantastic shore excursions. Snorkeling with stingrays at Gibbs Key. 4x4 Island Safari, or go on a dune buggy tour. Tour historic Cockburn Town and the old salt pans. See historic landmarks from an 1853 lighthouse to sturdy Bermudan bungalows. Shop for duty-free jewelry and local crafts in the colorful Grand Turk Cruise Center. There are different snorkeling and dive options including a 7,000 foot vertical wall just minutes offshore. Make sure to bring sunscreen, a towel and water shoes for the beach. We hope to see you on board 70,000 tons of metal, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise in 2018. Okay, we've got to show you this funny clip from our own Kimmy G versus Reed Mullen from COC Blind. Watch this. We got five minutes alone here with me main man, Pepper Keenan from The Cock. No. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We's gonna ask you first off why. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, yeah. No, it's read. Read. Yeah, I can't read. It's not the library. We's talking about music with me, main man, Pepper. Yo, why is your band named Cock Blind? Does you like to put it in an eye? <laughs> Oh, it's blind. It's corrosion of conformity. We're, we're doing the blind album, like person. It's blind, like, what about the people that is deaf? Is you got something racialist against them? What not about corrosion of conformity, blind, deaf, and hearing impaired? What like, are you is about? the album in Braille? In Braille? What are you talking about? No, no, we're COC blind. We're just doing the COC blind album. <laughs> What do you... Well, I like the Deliverance album. Do you call it Deliverance? Because you ain't been using UPS. Like you've been sending it with FedEx, so it actually, you know, got delivered. Who is you talking about, like, a subtext? De no, Deliverance, uh, you know what that was, uh, Flannery, Flannery O'Connor. He him is from Deliverance Country, North Carolina. Big ups, North Carolina. Yeah. The Saints is gonna win the Super Bowl this year. Big ups. Big Yo, up. so what is it like recording the Cowboys from Hell album? <laughs> Phil and Samo is me second favorite vocalist next to you, and maybe that's it from Abba. <laughs> Where do you do your research? You seem to be in depth with all these kinds of stuff. You is the one that is read. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm read. <laughs> you read. <laughs> read tard. Oh, speaking of read, me is reading the Rolling Stone magazine. Big up Rolling Stone. Me is reading that you has got a new project, The Time Killers. Why is you choosing teenagers to be the bandwidth? <laughs> 
There's no teenagers. No, there's like, one. The what? sign's going to say it's teenagers. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your new band. These red that you in the Rolling Stones. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That no, you yeah, got yeah, a band no, called yeah, the Time Killers and they yeah, yeah. teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a real band. Yeah, are you fixing real. to get into tween market? No. <laughs> The Jonas Brothers. Like guys. One Direction kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he choosing to go with the teenagers, not like the cougar time killer? <laughs> Yo, me main man from Cock. Cock. <laughs> Pepper Keenan. The 70k T the metal. Peace out. Keep it real. Pepper. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to share and subscribe. Keep your eye on 70,000tons.com for news and announcements. And we'll see you in 2018 in Turks and Caicos.